so I can't fucking take a left where I need to take a left because apparently, I don't know, some people got into a car accident. And there's five billion ambulances there. So I think I'm just gonna have to bust out this curb, dude, for real. Look at this, green light, still can't take a left. I don't know, I might just go over this fucking curb and shit. But there's all these damn cars coming. Fuck this. Fuck out of here. Allies. Friends and I are allies. What's going on, YouTube? Let's get down with this pickups, man, because... I have a lot to show you, and I don't want to make this too long. I uh, I got some some clothes, and my uh, I got I got all stuff for free because I don't I don't be buying clothes like that anymore. I don't look for clothes. I don't go out of my way to get them. Um, but my friends, I just so happened to go to their house when they were like cleaning out their closets, and they were gonna donate this stuff. And I asked them if I could just go through it and keep whatever they were gonna donate. They were like, fine. So my first friend he gave me some college shirts, man. First one is this one. Um, it's a gray, I think it was alright, it's fresh, it's, I never worn one with these things on them, but, whatever, man, chicks dig that shit, um, ugh. he gave me a red one, a thin red one, um, that I can wear in the summer, because usually the other ones are, the flannels are usually thick, but this one's alright, he uh, gave me a Beetlejuice joint, white, gray, and black, whatever, and he gave me this, which I wear for church. It's a Ralph Lauren collar shirt. It's white with blue stripes. And it has a little horse. A little cool brown horse with a little polo player. It's long sleeve, so I wear that for church. And he gave me this. It feels like a cashmere sweater. But it's a polo, dark blue sweater. And it has a green polo logo. So none of this stuff fit him anymore because he's working out. And he's getting cock diesel, so... He's just gonna donate it, so I, I kept it. Now my other friend, he uh, he had all this stuff from high school. I was too big on him, and so he's gonna donate. But I only kept two things. It was two track jackets. First one was a pol uh, Puma, white, red, gray. It's clean out. I, I don't think he ever wore this. I don't. I don't even think he bought this. He he must have gotten this for free from someone. So I kept that. And then the second one, this is too big on me, but I'm not. I'm not keeping this. I'm gonna try to sell it. But if it fit me, I would. I would keep it. It's a red Adidas track jacket. It has a clean stitch logo. You know, the three white stripes on the side. It has the big Adidas logo on the back stitched. It's a large, but honestly, it feels like an XL. So, I mean, I'm going to sell it on eBay. But if anybody's interested, I'll sell it for 20 Yeah, $20. I don't do international ship, uh, international. Um, you gotta be in the U.S., so if anybody's interested, $20 plus, like, $5 shipping, and that's it, man. Or I'm just gonna sell it on eBay. That simple. Um, he also gave me these DVDs, which I really don't want. I'm gonna give these to my, uh, to my nephew. Um, Transformers Armada. I guess these are the newer Transformers one. Transformers Aragon, The Return of Megatron. And he gave me this. He's a huge Transformers fan, but he doesn't want DVDs. I don't want DVDs. I don't got room for them. I don't, I don't buy DVDs. Uh, original Transformers Season 3 Part 1 comes with three discs, um, booklet, I don't know. I'm just going to ship it out to my nephew because my sister only buys my nephew like 80s cartoons. So like my little 8-year-old nephew knows more about the cartoons I grew up with. He knows more about them than me. Like He knows everything about Thundercats, He-Man, Rescue Rangers, Ghostbusters, Super Mario Brothers, Super She knows all that shit. So I'm going to send him this. I don't think they have any Transformer DVDs. Okay. Time for the games, man. I'm so I'm tired right now. My eyes are just hurting. Um, you know me, man. I got a lot of diverse stuff. Tons of diverse stuff. I don't like to stick to like just one console and shit. And everything I buy, I try to get boxed. I'm actually in the in the process of boxing all my loose stuff. I only got a couple, only like five more Super Nintendo games to get boxed. Like seven more N64 games. I do have quite a bit of NES games, but I'm getting there. Um, okay, I'll show you this first. I got Wa Virtual Boy, uh, Wario Land in the box. Uh, I already had the game. I got the box and the holder of the insert. Um, I am going to go for a complete Virtual Boy run. There's only 14 games, man. And honestly, the most of them are not 
expensive. They're cheap as hell. Um, there are like a maybe like two, two that are two or three that are really expensive. But man, if it's like only two two games out of the whole library that's expensive, I don't care, man. It, it's, as long as it's not the fucking Super Nintendo, where every game for the Super Nintendo is over a hundred dollars nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I'm 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 gonna try to finish this collection quick. Like I'm not even gonna fuck with it like that, man. I'm gonna, let's get this shit done. Um, one Turbo Graphics game, Spider House. Been wanting this for a while. I got this for mad cheap, man. Um, you know the box, jewel case, manual, protective sleeve, styrofoam, everything. Complete. Um, it's not that expensive type of game, but it's kind of like a retail price game. But you know, it's it's sought after because it's a good game. I like it. Um, one Super Nintendo game, Maximum Carnage in the box. I've had the game for the longest time, man. I've been trying to get the box. I finally got one that's in fucking good condition. So I I remember I I remember this game came out, man. I remember the commercial was dope. The commercial is actually. What the fucking front cover looks like. Cool game. Um, okay, I'll show you. I got three PS1 games in a jewel case. Cyclone Filter 2. I always find this game at Thrift, but I always find it at Greatest Hits version. I finally found a Black Label version. Um, Dracula The Last Sanctuary. I didn't even know this game existed. It's two discs? Really? I just looked in the back. I think it has both discs. Yeah, I got both this. Um, it says three ninety nine, but when I took it to the register, it was a dollar fifty, and this was a dollar fifty as well. I found a black label Silent Hill. Uh, yeah. Not too long ago, I did a trade with Tom TB four six six seven, and I traded him a Genesis game. He traded me this. Um, so I got two copies, but what I did was I gave the other copy. To, I gave the copy that I found to my friend. So this is my original one. Um, my friend always asked me if I would ever find it, if he'd let me know, he'd pay me or whatever. But it's his birthday today, and so I just gave it to him two days ago, and man, he was psyched, man, he was happy. So, I, you could easily sell it. I, I found a Greatest Hits version not too long ago, I sold it for 20 on eBay, and then Black Label, I could probably sell it for 30 but, you know, I'd rather give it to my friend, because he's a diehard, he loves PlayStation, so I'm happy to do that for him. So I found that, just wanted to show you guys that. Um... Talking about PS1 games, I got four long box games for the PS1. I am trying to go for a full collection of the PS1 long box. Need for Speed, 100% complete. Road Rash, 100% complete. Street Fighter Alpha, 100% complete. And last one is Resident Evil. Um, it's not that good of a condition because some of these get old and the food comes undone. But it has like a little rip. But it does have a Kmart sticker for fifty six ninety nine. But it's complete, so I don't care, man. As long as I got the box and everything. Um, so I got a friend that gave me these games for free. He he wants me to sell his three sixty. He told me as a payment I could keep any games in his collection. And honestly, these are the only ones worth keeping. Gran Turismo A spec. Gran Turismo three. SSX on tour, Call of Duty Black Ops, which is my first Call of Duty game ever. I would never buy this game. I never bought it, and since it's free, I decided, you know what? I'll just, I'll keep a Call of Duty for my collection. You can't be free, I guess. Bulletstorm Epic Edition and Halo Three. So, those are the ones I got for free. Those games were free. Um. What else? Genesis. Four Genesis games. I got them all boxed. None of these have the manuals, which is whatever. It's alright. Lemmings. Mick and Mac as the Global Gladiators. I think it's a McDonald's game. Dinosaurs for Hire, which is based off of a comic book by Malibu. And then this one's kind of like our type. Thunder Force 2. I'm actually, I'll probably play this. This is probably gonna be the next game I play. This game looks tight. So I got those four. Uh, oh yeah, two Sega CD games I found. Cliffhanger and Lethal Enforcers Two Gunfighters. Whenever I find Sega CD games, I try to buy. These these you really don't find those too much. Um, what else do I got? 
NES games. I'll show you NES games, man. Finally got these. A lot of these I got doubles of because I just I just ended up just getting them boxed. Adventures of Bayou Billy, one of the hardest fucking games on the planet. Jackal. Akari Warriors. This is complete with the manual. Little Nemo Dream Master. This is one. This is one of my favorite games for the NES. Um, Dick Tracy. I think you pronounce this as Sea Cross. And the last one is, I wanted this for a while, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. This is kind of an uncommon game based on the cartoon, so I finally got those. Alright, last games. Last game. N64 games. I got the first two I got for $2.50. $2.50, 100% complete. That's cheaper than buying them on eBay for a penny because shipping is like more than $2.50. But uh, Wayne Gretzky Hockey, 3D Hockey, 98. And NFL Blitz, which is honestly one of my favorite sports games. Because I don't play real sports games. I play like fake ones like this. So these were 100% complete. Um, I got Asteroids Hyper 64. Um, last four. Load Runner 3D, which is 100% complete. Never played it. Couldn't tell you if it's good or not. I don't know. Got it for cheap, so that's why I got it. Finally got Mario Party box. No manual, though. Which, honestly, man, I don't even like Mario Party, man. It's just, every time I play them, I always fucking lose. I hate that shit. Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. I like this game. This game's cool. The mini games in this game is pretty dope. And I like it, box. I got, this is 100% complete. And the very last game to show you... Conquer's Bad Fur Day. I finally got it complete. I got the box, the manual, and like two inserts. Um, yeah, this is 100% complete, man. Um, <laughs> what do I say about this? You know, I don't know why this game is so expensive. Because it's not rare. You know what I'm saying? It's not... Well, it's not rare as in scarce. But... I can't tell you why this game is expensive, man. Like, I didn't pay the fucking... Don't think I paid a ridiculous amount of price for this shit. I had the game for free. I ha Honestly, I've had three copies of this game. This one that I, I got for free, I think. Another one. I Honestly, so I got the one I got for one. This one's free. I had another one, which I gave away years ago. And then I found one for like 30 bucks. I ended up flipping it and got like $10 profit. But that one was maybe like a year or two ago. And now this game has gone up in price. Like, I don't even know why, dude. Like, my personal opinion, man, this game ain't even all that. I'll tell you, I'll tell you straight up. Um, these, like, old-ass, like, Banjo-Kazooie, and these, these games are boring to me, but... I just needed to get this shit boxed, man. Fuck this loose shit. And I already had it. I, didn't, I wasn't gonna pay no hundred dollars for this shit. All I'm gonna say is this. If you guys really wanna play this game, you're not a collector, you know, you don't give a shit about boxes, you don't give a shit about cards, get the Xbox version. Now, there's some debate whether which one's better, this one or the Xbox. Me, personally, I, I get the Xbox. And the reason why is because it looks better. They have an extra multiplayer. It's a fuckload cheaper. Like, a lot cheaper. You don't got to be paying no $100 for a complete copy like this. And, I don't know. Pe people complain that they took away the cussing, which, honestly, who cares? They edited the cut. Who cares? You know what? I'll save you the trouble. Fuck shit ass. There you go. I just said all the damn words that this in the stupid ass game. There you go. Now go buy yourself the Xbox version if you really want to play it. Um, so yeah. That's what I gotta say about this game. I don't think this game's really all that tight, but... Whatever. Alright guys, that's it. That's my pickups. I will be doing a video on my boys 360. Hopefully, maybe somebody on YouTube might want it. If not, I'll probably put it up on eBay, but... We'll see what's up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace.